Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. Lately, I've been asked a couple of times which HVAC books would I recommend for technicians, for new technicians, and for technicians that are going to school. And I thought about it, and actually, I haven't read an HVAC book since I went to school, which was about six years ago. Uh, I mean, I read brochures, you know, HVAC brochures, maybe some articles, but I don't remember actually reading a book or a textbook on the HVAC topic ever since I left school. Because to me, it seems like those textbooks, those really big ones, they're full of a lot of fluff, just stuff to take up room, you know, because they have to fill up the book with something, right? So ever since I finished school, I haven't read any HVAC books. So people that ask me which HVAC books would I recommend, I really don't have any books to recommend. But I know a lot of my audience, some of them have a ton of HVAC experience, some of them are very educated. I know there's some subscribers that are HVAC engineers. So if you have any books that you could recommend on the HVAC topic, stuff that's really good, maybe you read a bunch of books and there's some that just stood out to you, that would be awesome if you could share with us in the comments below what those books are. That being said though, recently I did get a book from Craig. Um, you probably know him better as AC Service Tech Channel. I got this book from Craig, it, I think it's like 60 bucks on Amazon for the paperback copy. And it's, I don't know, 30 or 40 for the e-copy for the electronic version. I did not get that one, just a paper copy for me. And I looked through the whole book and this thing is actually full of really good information. The textbooks in school, I feel like they're not as much practical as they are theory or you know how things work. It's almost like for HVAC engineers, getting down to the nitty gritty of it. How every, I mean, for example, a contactor. I really, as a service technician out in the field, I don't really care how long the piece of wire is that's wound around for the contactor coil. Mainly my concern is, is the contactor working or not and how can I check it, right? So I actually looked through this whole entire book so in the last six years, last month was the first time I actually read an HVAC book. And this book was actually very good. To me, it felt like he crammed or compacted three textbooks, you know, HVAC textbooks from college into one. And I know he was saying that he's working on a workbook as well, along with this book. So maybe that'll be good stuff. But I looked through this whole thing and it was very down to earth, you know, no unnecessary fluff. It's just good stuff how to pump down a system, how to add refrigerant, how to use a recovery machine and refrigerant troubleshooting. Basically, all the necessities for refrigeration, for the refrigeration part of HVAC, this book pretty much covers it all. All the components, what they do, and a bunch of procedures, and the way I like it too, you know, like step by step. Step one, hook up your hoses. Step two, open this valve. Step three, turn on the purge machine. Step four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's all broken down into steps. He explains it really good, and what I like is pictures. He actually has a lot of pictures in the book, a lot of diagrams, and typically, typically I would give you a close-up of some of these pictures and some of these pages, but in the beginning here, he has a little paragraph that discouraged me from doing that. It says here, no part of this book may be reproduced or distributed in any form without the prior written consent of the author, Craig, Meg Liasio. I probably just butchered his last name, but maybe some of you know how to say it right. So he doesn't want me to take any close-up pictures, and that's understandable. But if I had to recommend a book, I would recommend this one. Like I said, I actually looked through it from beginning to end, and it is full of really good information. If you're just new to the trade and you want to learn all the procedures, how the components work and all that, this book is crammed with actual useful information without all that <clears throat> unnecessary fluff that college textbooks tend to have. And I thought the pricing was very fair as well. When I was going to school, I don't remember any of the textbooks being under $100 and they weren't that great. I don't own any of those textbooks anymore. I sold them to Amazon or whatever other bookstores they had. I don't remember the websites I used to use. But this book is 60 bucks, which I thought was pretty fair considering the amount of information and knowledge she passes on through this book. So I think it's definitely worth looking into if you're looking for a good book, for a good HVAC book on refrigeration. This is for residential units and light commercial. Craig was actually an HVAC professor for a while and an HVAC contractor. And now he is 
writing books since he has so much knowledge and experience and I think his channel has like over 300 videos on air conditioning. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that book. It is a good book. I mean, I guess it's not fair to say that it's my most highly recommended book because in the last six years, I only read the one, but I thought it was good. And if you want more information, I'll put an Amazon link to his book in my description along with the e-copy version. And he also has a video where he introduces his own book himself. And I looked through every single comment in that video at that time, when I looked at it, it had 180 comments. All 180 comments were positive. There was no bad reviews about this book. So a lot of other people think it's a great book too. And I have a sneaky suspicion that quite a few of my subscribers are probably subscribed to AC Service Tech as well. If you actually own a copy of this book already, if you could just leave a little review in the comment section below and let us know, was the book worth a buy? Did you like it? Or no, it wasn't worth it. Don't buy it, stay away. That would be awesome if you could just write a few thoughts about what you thought about that book. I'm sure everybody else would much appreciate it. But that book aside, if you know of any other HVAC books that are super good, that are great, maybe I'll even get it myself and read it if it's super wonderful. Depends on how much you'll hype it up and advertise it for us. But if you know of any other wonderful books, let us know in the comments below. And I'm actually done with this short book conversation. That's all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and visit the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Did I already say that? Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. But if you're still here and not in the comment section below, check out this funny meme that I saw recently.